Sonny Banks was the first to do it in 1962. Henry Cooper and Joe Frazier followed suit in 1963 and 1971 respectively. But when Ali, who is widely regarded as the greatest heavyweight of all time, fought Chuck Wepner four years later, he once again found himself on the canvas. Known as the Bayonne Bleeder, Wepner earned the nickname due to the number of stitches he needed in his face after his fights. He was also the inspiration behind Sylvester Stallone's iconic Rocky character made popular by the franchise which shares the same name. Wepner told BBC Sport, Tony Perez was the referee for my fight with Muhammad Ali. After I got knocked down he says to me, Chuck, you're bleeding too much. I said, no way, give me this round. Let me finish the fight, I'm all right. So Tony says, okay Chuck, how many fingers do I have? Up. I look at his hand and say, how many guesses do I get? Wepner, who by that stage was approaching the end of his career, was delighted by the opportunity. He added, you know, I was so thrilled and honored to be in the ring with Muhammad Ali. The most famous man ever. I was so proud. Night before the fight, the owner of the Coliseum invites me and Ali to his private box for dinner. A big table and him sat right next to Ali. A couple hours sat together talking, he did a few magic tricks. I loved it. I loved Ali. We became great friends. It was expected to be an easy night for Ali who did minimal training to prepare for the fight. But he was forced to pick himself up off after being sent tumbling to the canvas in the ninth round for only the fourth time in his career. Ali however later disputed this claiming it was due to an intentional foul. Wepner continued, my strategy was to press him. Tire him out, at least for the first four or five rounds, maybe take him in the later rounds. So I pressed him. I threw body punches. I should have won three or four of those rounds. But the judges, with Ali, you gotta knock him out to beat him. Strike me dead, I dropped him. I hit him with that punch and you can hear it on the replay. I eaten dead solid all the way up to my shoulder. He was off balance and I dropped him and he knew it. I could see his eyes and I thought, I've really got him angry now. That's when he started. Counter punching and swearing at me. You can keep up to date with all of the latest right here on. Give me sport.